I originally chose to do my project on Mary and Robert Morrison, more widely known as John Wayne, because my grandfather was a big fan of his work. And coincidentally, he reminds me a lot of my grandfather, not only in looks, but also in personality. They were both very strong father and grandfather figures, but also had a way of swaying you into their heart with their soft side. Whenever I watch a film with John Wayne in it, I can see some of my grandfather in him. Surprisingly, they also both passed away very similarly, winning a battle with one kind of cancer and then losing their next battle. This is Mary and Robert Morrison. Mary and Robert Morrison, more widely known as John Wayne, was born on May 26, 1907, to Clyde and Mary, also known as Molly Morrison. He was born in Winterset, Iowa, weighing 13 pounds, and he was the oldest of two children. His only brother was named Robert Emmett Morrison. Wayne remained a giant at a whopping 6 foot, 4 inches, 225 pounds, full grown. At the age of 7, his family moved to Lancaster, California, and they moved once again a few years later after Clyde failed to become a farmer. They then settled in Glendale, California, where Marion received the nickname Duke. Duke was the name of his dog, and the pair spent so much time together that he became known as Big Duke and his dog, Little Duke. His parents later divorced in the year 1926. Marion was an excellent student in school and excelled in football and was a part of the student government. He also participated in many theatrical productions throughout high school. At first, he wanted to become a naval officer, but failed. He received a football scholarship to the University of Southern California, where he started college in the year 1925. There, he joined the Sigma Chi fraternity and remained a very strong student. After only two years of playing football, an injury ended his football career. Meanwhile, in college, Marion Morrison did some work on film. After leaving college, Duke went on in the filming industry and did some work as an extra and prop man in many films. The first time he was acquainted with John Ford was while he was an extra in the movie Mother McCree, which was a silent film about an Irish immigrant in America. In 1930, he received his first leading role in the film The Big Trail. The Big Trail was a wagon train saga, which is where he received the nickname John Wayne. After his first film, he seemed to take on only Western character roles for nearly a decade. He then took on more action roles, but still continued to appear in many Western films. He was a film icon and appeared in over 200 films. Now known as John Wayne, he is widely known as a conservative and anti-communist. When he wasn't on screen, he was a member of the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals and even served as president for some time. This group worked toward keeping communists out of the film industry. In 1964, Wayne successfully battled lung cancer, even while working steadily in the film business. In order to defeat his illness, he had to have a lung and several ribs removed. Wayne once said about himself, When I started, I knew I was no actor, and I went to work on this Wayne thing. It was as deliberate a projection as you'll ever see. I figured I needed a gimmick, so I dreamed up the drawl, the squint, and a way of moving meant to suggest that I wasn't looking for trouble, but would just as soon throw a bottle at your head as not. I practiced in front of a mirror. John Wayne was also known for his support toward Ronald Reagan and his Republican political career. Wayne even recorded radio commercials for Reagan's presidential campaign in 1976. He is viewed as a very respected man. One reviewer of films once said, Wayne is, of course, marvelously indestructible, and he has become an almost perfect father figure. On July 11, 1979, in Los Angeles, California, John Wayne passed away due to stomach cancer. He was survived by seven children from two of his three marriages. Before he passed away, the U.S. Congress approved a Congressional Gold Medal for Duke, which was given to his family in 1980. In addition, 
the Orange County Airport's name was changed and named after him. Later on, he was featured on a postage stamp and inducted into the California Hall of Fame. In 1985, Wayne's children established the John Wayne Cancer Foundation in honor of his charitable work in the fight against cancer. The foundation provides money to many cancer programs and also to the John Wayne Cancer Institute in Santa Monica, California. If Wayne was still alive today, I'm sure he would have never dreamed just how much he's helped impact not only the film industry, but also the fight against cancer. This is a clip from McClintock, my favorite movie.